What makes God so special is that he really knows who we are. Hallelujah. Right? Yes. You might not know me through and through, but I can't hide from God. Yeah, right. he he know he knows you. That's right. Some of you way back in the seventies <laughs> knows you in the eighties. I wasn't there yet. Well, maybe a little bit. In the nineties, on in the two thousand, he knows you all the way way back when. Yeah. And during that time, he just be, can, he just continually molded your heart. Amen. Without Amen. judgment. Just with love. Amen. Man, and a lot of us had a lot of mercy. Yes. yes. A lot of mercy. A lot of mercy. Yes. A lot of mercy. Yes. You know, God was holding us when we didn't even know he was holding us. Amen. Mm, Amen. Mm, mm. Amen. That's how you know this is real. Yes. That's how you know this is absolutely real. Because he loves us in spite of everything we were. Mm. How about that? Never called you a so-and-so. Never. Never. Kept encouraging you. What a God. There used to be a song, What a Mighty God We Serve, right? There used to be a song. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. He's so good. I got a, I got a word for you tonight. I got a word. Um, this is, it's an encouraging word. This is, an, this is a word of, of encouraging. You know, the vastness, the vastness of God was put into seed form. All a God is, you know, you got to think about this on a lot of levels. God, God transformed himself in many ways. God is light. God is love. He has given us his spirit. His spirit is within us. Uh, he became the written word. He became flesh. All this, all of this to help us. Amen. But the, the way God does it is he, is he puts himself in seed form through the word of God, if you will. Yeah. And then that, and if you, if you looked at that picture, you see how the seed begins to grow. That is God revealing himself to you from faith to faith. Amen. God reveals himself to you on every level of that process. Amen. So tonight we're going to talk about the word as the seed. Amen. Because that's important. And I want you to think of yourself as a piece of chicken. Come on now. All right. I mean, listen, chicken is not always on my mind. Um. I don't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't cook, I don't cook at all. I'm not a cooker. I don't cook, really. I grill every now and then. I can eat, but I don't cook. Um, but sometimes when you're going to grill a piece of chicken, what I like to do is, is uh, put it um, in, this, in, in this sauce and let it, what is it, what's the word? Marinate. That's the word I want you to get to that. Let it marinate. And then what happens when it marinates, that piece of chicken becomes that sauce and that sauce becomes that piece of chicken so that when you grill it and you cut it you, you, you taste it right so the body is the same way you're a piece of chicken and what what we want to do is we want to marinate in the word when we marinate in the word the word becomes a part of you it becomes in you and then what happens when you begin to marinate long enough, and we can call it meditation, too. 
Right? We can call that marination, that meditation, that focus on God's word. When you get that, God reveals himself to you and you get a confidence and God begins to grow in you. However, there is there is a part. Let me I'm going to take that from you. You don't got to hold it. Thank you, dear. Praise God. Um, there is a part of you that you need to marinate to get over natural thinking. I thought of this this week because I was saying some things in some, some, you know, some scripture stuff and just confession. And I didn't feel anything and didn't feel like anything was happening. Just didn't feel it. Right. But if you don't marinate, you'll get stuck in that feeling and then you won't stay with the marination. That's not really a word, but we're going to go with that. OK. Right. You won't stay with it. There, there's, you, have to, you have to stay. But because this is not a natural thing, if your feelings get involved, and if your physical eyes get involved, you won't continue to marinate. To marinate is that piece of chicken is consistently in the sauce. It's laying on the sauce, and the sauce is on top of it, and it's marinating there. You put it in, re in the refrigerator, and you just let it sit there. And you, let it, and you let it sit there. And so we're talking about, we're, we're talking about you marinating. So when, when you begin to marinate, you begin to see things that are not there. You begin to feel things that are not there. Because what happens in the, when you're marinating or in the meditation process, it the word will begin to take over your thought process in how you feel. But if you do not marinate long enough and consistent enough, the word will not take over your thinking and it will not take over your feelings. Okay? So we're talking about marinating in the word, which will cause you to action, which will cause you to believe things that you don't see, you don't feel. Matter of fact, we're talking about how God turns nothing into something. Amen. Right? We're talking about how God will turn something, and they'll turn nothing into something. That's what we're talking about. How does God do the impossible? He can't do it without you. He can't do it without you. He needs you to marinate. And when you marinate, you hear his voice in a way that you've never heard before. So I've been marinating on Psalms 23. You know we've been talking about it for a while now. I've been marinating on that Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. And what happens, what happens, what happens when you start to marinate on something... You see it everywhere. Okay? It's just like, you, know, you remember when you want, a, you want a new car, and there's a certain car you want, and then you're driving everywhere you drive, guess what? You see, you see that car? Now, and why does that happen? You never saw it before, but all of a sudden, when you want that car, you see it everywhere. Why? Because you're focused on that. The same thing happens with the word of God. Amen. When you marinate on it, yes. when you marinate on it, you begin to see it. Yes. So every time I open the word of God, I, start, I see the shepherd. Praise God. Uh -huh. I see the shepherd. Mm -hmm. And I talk about the source. Yes. Praise God. Right this morning when I was praying, I said, God is my source. Yes. What, that's I'm marinating. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm marinating. Yes. The thing about in marinating, it, you don't necessarily feel like there's something happening, but as you marinate, yes. right. Amen. as your spirit comes alive to God, yes. he begins to reveal himself while you marinate. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's right. Amen. Yeah. And that gives you confidence, yes. and it gives you a rest. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. 
Amen. Are you, okay, so this is what we're jumping in tonight. We're jumping right into this. We're going to jump. Okay. Let's go to Romans 10. Romans 10. Yeah. Romans 10, starting at the sixth verse. King James, please. Okay, good. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. On this wise. Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down from heaven. <clears throat> bring Christ bring Christ from above. Or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. Okay? Uh -huh. We don't got to try to find him up there or go down there to find him. But what saith it? Now this, now this, is, this is talking about marinating it. Okay, when, you are marin when you're marinating, yeah. Amen. where's the word? The word is nigh thee. Mm. Okay? Now, Remember when we are saying the word, we're saying everything God is, is in this word. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay? So the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth. Amen. Okay. So that is important you understand that. In your, in your spiritual marinating, yeah. Yeah. the word is nigh thee, and even in thy mouth. Amen. And in thy heart. So two things I noticed from this verse. I noticed where the word is, is close to me. Amen. Now two, two places the word is on me. It's in my heart and in my mouth. Two key things on God revealing himself to you and you receiving, getting, walking in man manifestation of what you want is crucial that you understand the word is nigh thee. Where's the word nigh thee? Is it nigh thee in your mouth right. and in your heart? Amen. The word, when, when I'm meditating and I'm meditating, the word is nigh thee. The Lord is my shepherd. He's my source. I'm marinating right now. But the word is in my mouth and then my, my mouth and my heart is connected. You understand? So when I'm marinating, by saying something, it's connected to my heart. Amen. Uh -huh. That's right. Right? Are you, are you with right. me? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Out of the heart, the what speaks? My mouth. The mouth speaks. There's a connection there. There's a connection there. Amen. That's right. Right? Yeah. You're full of darkness. Darkness is going to come out of your mouth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right? You're full of light. Light's going to come out. Yeah. Amen. All right? But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Okay, verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. So, with the mouth there's something going on. There is confession being made with your mouth. Amen. Just hold it there. And let's go to, um, what is it? Proverbs, is it 1821? Yeah. yeah. Proverbs 1821. Yeah. Okay. Now, because this is important, we're talking about two things that we learned so far. When we are spiritually marinating, two things. The word is nigh thee, and it's in thy mouth. Why should the word be in your mouth? Death and life are in the power. That's a strong way. I, I do, did that on purpose so you understand that there is power there. Amen. There is power. Amen. Death and life are in the power. Yeah. That means there is something that we're talking about that can change things. Amen. If something is powerful, it can change something. Right? right, right. right? So we're saying death and life are in the power 
of the tongue. So the word is nigh thee even in my mouth because there is power coming from this thing. Are you with me? All right. You're with me. Okay. So now, the word is nigh thee. The word is in seed form because the word will continue to develop in you. When you're putting the word in your heart, the seed is, the word, right, or the seed of the word is growing in you to develop you to change your sight pattern in what you see. It changes it from a natural sight to a spiritual sight. So if you keep marinating on the Lord is my shepherd, then you will spiritually see him as your shepherd. Right. Then as you see him as your spiritual shepherd, he will become your natural shepherd. Yes. Amen. Yes. Nothing happens in the natural realm without it being formed in the spiritual. Amen. Nothing happens in the natural realm without it being formed in the spiritual realm. Amen. So for you to get a manifestation of what you desire, you must develop it first on the inside so you'll see it on the outside. Amen. So what, that's why we're talking about this, because God wants you to have a firm understanding what you must do. He wants you to spiritually marinate in his word. And he wants, he wants you to keep that word nigh you, even in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. So that you'll speak life only and not death. Amen. And when you speak power of life, then life begins to be manifested in your life. Amen. Put it up again. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it, that means that they, I love it. If you love it, then you're going to eat it. All right, you're going to eat it. You shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen. So the more, that means the more I talk life. Amen. The more I talk life. The more I talk life. The more, the more I talk the word. The more I talk the word. Amen. Then I'm going to eat the fruit of that. Amen. I'm going to eat the fruit of it. Amen. The more you marinate, the more you will believe. Yes. All right, let's go back to Romans, please, so, so that you can see this. Because there's two things that are going on. Now remember, you can, you can lift your hands and praise God and love God without going through this process. That's right. You can absolutely can. That's right. So we're talking about this process being real to you and you understand and develop the word within you so that the word can come alive to you and so that the word in so the words in there can be manifested in your life. Amen. Praise God. For for with the for with the heart man believes. Okay, go back one go back one verse, please. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart. Yeah. Now, I want to stop there, and it talks about how that's how you get saved. We know that's how you got saved. You've been in church long enough. We know that's how you got saved. But when in that process, remember when you got saved, you just believed. That's it. Amen. That's it. And then there was a there was a change. Right. Same thing for needs. Same thing for health. Amen. All you have to do is believe it in your heart. Amen. That's how you got saved. Amen. That's how you got saved. You confessed with your mouth the Lord Jesus, right. believed in your heart, mm -hmm. that God raised him from the dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's God. how you got saved. That's right. That's right. Amen. You said it with your mouth, Amen. and you believed it in your heart. Amen. The, Amen. the word was nigh thee, even in your mouth, and in your heart. Amen. That's how you got saved. Amen. Amen. And when you got saved in that word salvation, you became a son and daughter of God and an heir to everything. Amen. And now all you're doing is learning how to appropriate what's yours. Amen. Amen. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're learning how to appropriate what is yours. It's yours. That's right. 
So we're not coming from a place trying to get something. We're coming from a place of just kicking it off the table. Amen. Remember, he set that table before you in the presence of your enemies. That table's already set. Right, right, when, right, in, right in front of your enemies, that table's already set. Okay. We got that part, right? So the word is nigh thee, even in the mouth. So I keep the word in my mouth because I also learned that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Amen. God. Okay, so let me just say something to you. I'm going to just say it. People can go to church as long as they want. But you know what a person is belie uh, believed by what they're walking in. Mm -hmm. you, don't have to, you don't have to say anything. Amen. What you're walking in is what you believe. Amen. Amen. So he wants to take the person that's still dependent on their paycheck to provide for them to get off that paycheck. He wants the person that already believes that the paycheck does not provide to them to go to another place, but just not, their bills are paid, but he wants them to go to another place above that in abundance. Amen. Then he wants to go to another place where he's completely debt free and does not live on the world system. Amen. Then he wants to go to another place where you walk in divine health. Yeah. All yours. God. All yours. But what has to happen? You have to marinate Amen. in the word. Amen. You have to marinate in the word yes. so that the word God. can change how you think. Yes. Yes. Now, I saw something. I learned something. Can we go to Ephesians? I saw something in this because I wanted to kind of describe the seed of the word to you. And I thought about it. No, not... Um, no, before we go to Ephesians, go to Hebrews. I said, let's get, let's, get some, let's get like three words to describe the word as the seed. Let's go to Hebrews 4.12. All right, right there in the King James, right there. For the word of God, right, is quick and is powerful and is sharper. Now, we all know, I don't got to finish reading, you all know it. Now, Let's look at this verse and let's pick out one word to describe this verse. For the word of God is, give me that. For the word, look at it, you tell me. For the word of God is what? All right, I said one word, not three. I heard, I heard sharper, I heard living, alive, and I heard power. What word, what word are we going with? What word are we going with? Two-edged. Now we have two-edged. How many say powerful? Raise your hand. All right. How many say living? Powerful one. Powerful one. Okay. So now. We got there, right? So now let's go back. Now, when you, we're talking about marinating. So when you're marinating the word, you're marinating in power. Because that word is the seed, right? The word is the seed that goes in you. And as that seed is budding, you're talking about the power of God is in you. That's right. The, now, not only is it, not only now, when we talk about in you, we're talking about your heart. But also, when the word is near you, out of your mouth, you're talking about power coming out of your mouth. Amen. Power is in you and coming out of you. Power is in you and coming out of you. So we're de when we're describing the word as the seed, we're saying that seed is powerful. Amen. Beyond human measure. Amen. It can conquer all things. It can defeat all things. It's never afraid. It doesn't bow its knee to anything. It's just powerful. Amen. The word as a seed is just stand. And it stands there alone. Mm. It doesn't need any help. The word stands on its own two feet. Amen. The word is powerful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
So therefore, if the, now here's where we're getting down to us. If the word is so powerful, everything that you go through in this life, the word should be on it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everything. Amen. From relationships to hurt feelings to how you feel to what you got to do, what you want, everything should filter through the power of the word. Amen. 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 Everything. God. Everything. There is no separate, there is no spiritual stuff in that. Everything should filter through the power of the word of God. If you don't feel right, filter it through the power of the word. If you don't think you look right, filter it through the power of the word. If you want to be something that you're not right now, filter it through the power of the word. Everything is filtered through the power of the word. Everything. Everything. If you want to change something in your life, well, <clears throat> The word is nigh thee, even in thy Amen. mouth. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. No, no, see, you gotta get this. No, you're not, you're not yeah. getting it. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to change mm -hmm. anything, I'm talking about anything at all. Yes. Yes. What are you saying? And then what happens is you start saying it and you see nothing change. Well, because you got to marinate in it. you got to marinate in it so you keep saying it. And as you keep marinating it, the more the power of the word begins to grow. And the more power begins to come out of your mouth. But you don't need, you don't need anything or anyone to change your circumstances. The word will change it for you. I don't care how mean the person is. I don't care how wrecked the person is. I don't care how big the situation is. I don't care how long the situation was. The word of God is more Amen. powerful Amen. than anything yes. on this earth. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. What we do, we come in, we say hallelujah. If something's really big, we back off. Because the first thing the devil did is throw fear in your face like it won't work. Either you stand on God's word or you won't. Through the storm, yeah. through the doubt, yeah. Yeah. you stand on the word. Yeah. Stand on the word. Amen. Amen. That's good. Man, that's, 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 that is where the rubber meets the road. That's where it is. Because you're going to have to say at a certain point, oh, whether it fails or not, I stand on the word. Amen. Now, don't you forget the devil is cunning. He's deceiving. So what he'll do, he will make a pathway for you to use natural means to do it. So it looks really easy. So it looks, oh, I, I can get out of this really easy if I do it this way. And you know the Spirit to spoke to you and told you to stand on the word. Matter of fact, you hear, keep hearing it at Harmony Ministries week in and week out how you got to stand on the word. Amen. And then now you go start to stand on the word, but the circumstances get worse. And then the devil says, let's do it this way. But no, but if the word is nigh thee, and if you marinate it in the word, you'll stand. Amen. Because you heard, you heard it ring out with you. What is the power of the seed? It is power. Amen. Amen. First thing we establish, what the seed is, it is power. So, no, 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 so now understand, what I'm, understand what I'm saying to you. So when I get up here every Sunday, yeah, yeah. it's not the first time I read um, Psalms 23, when I open up and I read it, the Lord is my shepherd. Now, I'm marinating on that thing. I'm working on something that you guys have no idea what I'm working on. Something. I'm working on something that's bigger than you. I'm working on something that's bigger than this thing. I'm working on something that's so big, it's impossible for me to do it. I'm working on something. Every time I say the Lord is my shepherd, my, my, he, he is my source. I'm working on something. I'm marinating in God's word. And, and the, the seed begins to grow that, yes, he is my shepherd. He can provide for me. I don't, need the, I don't need my paycheck to get me certain things. But my God can do the impossible because the impossible is doable. The impossible. See, this is what happens to you when you begin to marinate. You begin to get a confidence in the word that you didn't have before you started marinating in it. Amen. I can tell you now, I have more confidence in the Lord is my shepherd than I had three weeks ago. Amen. Because I've been marinating in that. It said the Lord is my shepherd to feed me, to guide me, and to protect me. Oh, glory to God. You understand that? Yeah. 
now where where now for me where where it comes to a point I have to stand on that beyond whatever natural things presents itself to me. Because if I'm sitting here marinating that I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, I forgot to tell you that. When you're marinating, you're, you're listening to the Holy Spirit. No, you, you, are, you, are, you are with God when you're marinating. Because I'm marinating on the word. So I'm listening to him. However, there'll be something that'll be presented for me in my natural physical eyes that seem like it'll get to where I want to go sooner. It'll get to, but, holy, but wait a minute, the Holy Spirit did not tell me to move that way. If he told me to move that way, that's fine. But if he did not tell me to move that way because I'm with him and he's with me, so I'm going to hear what he says to me. And if, I don't, if he doesn't say move, I stand right there and I marinate in it. I marinate in it. I wait to hear from the Father. And let him continue to build me up. Continue to build me up to a place where I say, whoa. Oh, I believe. Just like you believe that Jesus died on the cross and wrote. You know how sure you are of that? That's the same way when you start marinating that he is your shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. He's my shepherd. He's my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That means I shall not lack. I, then I can say it with a boldness. I've never said it before. I will not lack anything. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But my paycheck, my paycheck is the same paycheck I got three weeks ago. But there, I believe, I believe now more than I did before that the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Because I've been marinating on it. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't see, I, I'm, I'm understanding now, I don't need my paycheck to increase for me to get things. Amen. Oh, you, you got to hear me. See, see, you see, you, see I, I'm, I'm beyond that now. Yes. I'm beyond looking for my paycheck to increase. Amen. I am beyond, no, you don't hear what I said. Yeah. Yeah. I am now beyond yeah. looking for my paycheck to increase. Yes. Amen. I have gotten to the point. Where the Lord is my shepherd, whether my check decrease or whether it increase. He is my shepherd. He will provide for me and I will not lack anything. Hallelujah. I don't care if I was getting. See, now I'm saying that for those who are getting disability and all that and you only on that fixed income. That's a, that's a lie you have to stay there. You can be getting a fixed income and you still increase. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Yes, sir. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I don't like any good thing. Mm. Okay, let's go to John 6, 63. So we said power. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. The word is powerful. I'm giving you things to remind yourself, to encourage yourself when you're not around the saints of God, when you're not in the, the, the holy house, God. right? When you're just in your old regular house, all right? When you're in your regular house, you can get holy, right? It's easy to feel, no, it's easy. Like right now, I'm under the anointing, so it's easy. This is easy. This is the easiest part right now. This is easy. So don't, don't be impressed by, 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 by people speaking like this. Don't be impressed by that. Right. Right. Well, we're under the anointing right now. Right. Yeah, this is this is easy flow. Amen. This is this is easy. I'm flowing out of the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right now, tomorrow's a different story. Tomorrow, no, tomorrow's a different story. That's, right. That's, right. That's when you have to have confidence in who God is. Amen. This is easy right now. Amen. I'm just flowing. Amen. I, I'm I'm pulling. I'm pulling from you. I'm pulling from your spirit. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. And we just flowing together. Amen. But tomorrow. When we're not in the holy house, yeah. that's when it counts. What am I going to say tomorrow morning? What, is it, what am I going to say tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have the same excitement, the same zeal that I have now? Right. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Because the devil will, will trick you and think that you, you can't be like that person up here. That's a devil lie. Amen. We're, we're no different. I'm the same as you. Everything you feel and I'm feeling. Amen. That, that, that's a lie. Because sometimes sometime people say, oh, I want faith like that preacher. Hogwash on that. Mm -mm. No, no. All you, all you need is a, a mustard. A mustard. A grain, a little small little thing. That's all you need. 
John 6.63. John 6.63. We got 666 up there. I'm keeping you on your toes. There we go. It is the spirit that quickeneth, right? The spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Then this is Jesus talking. The words that I speak. Now notice what he said. The words that I speak are spirit and life. We're going to take life out of that. I won't even ask you. We're just going to take life. All right. So now we're describing the seed. There's two words we got so far: life and power. Uh -huh. So this word here is full of life. Amen. So when you're feeling a little gloomy, why don't you get some life? Amen. Right. Amen. Now watch this. You know, music can make you feel good. You know what I mean? Yeah, music can put a certain, give you a certain mood. You know, you can jive with the music. You know what I mean? But you can't. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about like listening in the car, right? You can't depend on the music to always bring you out of moods. Right? Because right? right? yeah. we, we, we use, we use me. Some, you, sometimes you got to just have the word of God to bring you out of where you are. Amen. Because there'll be trials in your life that the music can't help. Amen. Come on now. And the only thing that's going to last is what you got on the inside. Amen. Amen. You have to have it on the inside. You, you're, building, you, you're building your production center. You, you're building a, a, a wall that is, is, that is not is, is formidable if you don't marinate. But once you marinate, nothing can penetrate. Nothing can penetrate when you begin to marinate. Yeah, because you got the shield of faith up. Mm -hmm. And the shield of faith, it, it blocks every, all fiery darts yeah. of the enemy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. So the seed is life. The seed is power. Yeah. Now let's go to Ephesians 6. And I saw this for the first time in a way that I've never seen before. Mm. We're going to go to uh, Ephesians 6, 10. We've heard this verse before. Fin finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Mm. Uh -huh. Now, put on the whole what? Oh. Armor. So we're putting on armor. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the what? devil. Every single thing that you go through boils down to verse 12. Amen. Every single thing you go through, every relationship that you go through boils down to verse 12. Amen. <laughs> For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so now watch this. So, I'm marinating on Psalms 23.1. So things that are trying to come against that from manifesting in my life is not flesh and blood. It's all principalities and powers and all spiritual wickedness and Right? So then I have to understand that. And so when I speak out of my mouth, I'm speaking life. I'm dealing with those spiritual demons that's trying to come against me. So I must say it out of my mouth. I must bind them in the name of Jesus. So I, I say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So then I say, Father God, I, lack, I don't lack any good thing. Wealth and riches are in my house, Father. I thank you for the blessings I receive. Amen. I have favor and I bind any evil spirit that tries to come against me from, yes. from getting what I need Amen. and what I want. Yes. I bind it. Amen. That is your job to bind it. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
as your jobs are binding. That's Whatsoever right. you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yeah. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall loose in heaven. Yeah. Amen. So sometimes I loose the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus over me. Yeah, yeah. I loose it. I loose it. I loose it. Why? Because it's over the, it's over the law of, the, of curse. And, er, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free yeah. from the law of sin and death. Right. So I'm freeing myself from yeah. those evil spirits trying to work in my life yeah. to cause me and not to have all of my needs met. Yeah. So I'm dealing with those things yeah. because they're evil spirits to, uh, come to assign to you to take away what you want. That's right. They're assigned to you. They've been watching you, your thinking patterns, how you react to things, what you like. They're studying you, and they come to take away the word that is powerful and that is life, designed to take it away. Watching how you react to certain circumstances. Watching, Mark, how you react to this? Yeah, let me do this. Is he still going to say that same scripture? Yeah. He didn't, you know, he didn't do it this time, so I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to give him, I'm going to put a little bit more on him. Mm -hmm. Still didn't do it, let me put a little bit more on him. Right. That's how it works. Yeah. There is spirit, right now there's spiritual activity going on right now. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. There's spiritual activity going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. And when you tomorrow are saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack, mm -hmm. there's, spiritually, there's spiritual activity going on. On your behalf and... Yeah. Evil spirits trying to come against what you're saying. Yes. However, it's already been declared that you are the head and not the tail. It's already been declared that you are more than a conqueror. Those things have already been declared. It's up to you to establish it in your life. If not, they'll come and take it away. You see now what? what you know how. You just you just going along, and then now some things are happening. And just those things are just not right. Whoa! Then you got to stop some things. Yeah. Don't just let things happen. Right. Don't, no, no, you got to put a stop to it. Yeah. Whoa! Something's not right. Something's going on. Something. No, something is not right. Then you got to bind it. Yeah. And you got to stop it. Yes. You got to speak against it. But now, watch this. Don't only speak against it. Speak the desired result. Amen. Yeah. Don't just bind something. Lose something. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because the because the devil will just have you binding stuff. You didn't lose anything. Amen. Yeah. Send my angels. You know, sometimes I do, you know I send my angels. Yeah. I talk to my angels. Angels, I send you forth. To go bring me what I need. Because the Lord is my shepherd. That's right. yes, yes. And you said, angels, that you're hearkening to the voice of God's yes, word. Yes. Amen. It, is, it, is yeah. right. it is written. Yeah. It is written. Yeah. It's written that wealth and riches shall be in my house. Yes. Yes. That, that's written. So angels, go, go, go. I release you. I release you to bring riches to my house on my behalf. Because I'm a son. Now, the angels understand who I am. No, no, I'm not talking about Dennis. When I say who I am, I'm talking about us, who we are. They understand that they're working for us. That's right. They understand that we're a chosen generation. Yeah. Un they understand that we're a royal priesthood. No, no. You know, you see, you got to get this. The angels understand. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They understand who you are. Right. Yeah. They understand that there's power in your tongue. Yes. Yeah, they, un right. they understand that. Yeah. They understand that you have the ability to choose life or death. Uh -huh. Amen. They understand that. They won't move unless you, they, they, they hear God's word being said. Amen. They won't move, but they understand. Yeah. They've inquired about you. God. Yeah. Let's go to this armor. I want to get this armor in. Because, now, if you see verse 11, it says, put on the whole armor. And then I said, wait a minute. I finally saw this for the first time. I saw this. Well, what is the armor? What is the armor? Go to verse 14. Stand there. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with what? Truth. What is truth? The word. I said, what do you mean? This is the armor. 
sometimes you get hung up on the symbolism and don't you miss the armor. He says in verse 11, he said, let me go back. Verse 11 said, put on the what? Whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The first part of the armor, he said, was stand there for having your loins girt about with the word. That's truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness, knowing who you are, that, you are, that is yours. You deserve it. You are a son. Amen. You are an heir. Amen. Praise God. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. That's the word again. Amen. That's the word again. Yes, sir. Amen. All this time, we think putting on the armor, and we're not realizing if we marinate, we're putting on the armor. Verse 16, and above all, taking the shield of faith. How do you get faith? How do you get faith? By hearing the word. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. You got the word here at the breastplate of righteousness. You got the word. You got the word there. You hear God? You see that? Then I, got, then I got the word right here. I got the word right here. I'm, I'm you visualizing the armor. So when you're marinating in this, you're fortifying yourself. You're putting on the armor of God. Take the helmet of salvation. Now, how do you get salvation? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. Now, that's how I confess with the mouth, the Lord Jesus. Believe or not believe, speak it and believe it. Salvation. I got it on here. Boom. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's my armor. <laughs> so what I do I marinate in the word and I put on my armor that now I might be able to deal with any deceitful acts of Satan. Yes, Amen. Amen. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Praise God. So in this process, when God is being revealed to me, not only am I meditating on the word and the word is becoming part of me, but I'm putting on the armor. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, put, I, got the, I got the shield of faith up so I can quench every single dot, dart of yes, the devil. Yes, Amen. Mm. Okay, all right, I got 12 minutes. More almost done. Here we go. Go to Matthew 6. So I got, I got the armor. I got the armor on. I got the armor. Here I go. Now watch this. I have the armor on as I'm marinating in Psalms 23, 1. As I'm marinating in it. And God is revealing himself to me. The armor is on. Yes. Protecting me. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Yes. I shall not lack. I shall not want. What did I say? Matthew 6, verse 22. It's important what we see. The light of the body is the eye. All right, you hear it? You see it? If, there, if therefore thine eye be single. Now my focus is single now. My focus is on something. I'll focus on something because I'm marinating. I'm meditating. And because I, I got a single focus, mm -hmm. my eye is on it. Thy whole body shall be full of light. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. That depicts what's going on if you are meditating and marinating in the word. Because the light of the body 
is the eye. We're not talking, forget about the physical eye right now. There's a, if therefore thine eye be single, if, you, if, you're, if the eyes of your spirit be focused on the word of God, thy whole body shall be filled with light. So I go to Psalms. I go to Psalms, and as I see Psalms, and as I begin to read Psalms, my, my now my spiritual eye begins <coughs> to be focused. The Lord is my source. He's my shepherd. He's my God. He's my everything. He provides for me food. He guides me, and he shields me, and I know I won't lack anything. And then I'm focused on that. So every light from that word, which is the seed, begins to be part of my body, my spiritual body. Oh, Jesus. The word goes in. Where does it go? It goes to your heart. But the devil is there to take it away. So if you don't marinate it, God. if you don't, it won't become part of you. So when this this, this fluey thing came up, yeah, yeah well, you gotta marinate yourself in it. Amen. 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 That's right. Yeah. God. You gotta marinate yourself in the word. Yes, God. Fortify yourself. No one at this church should have been saying anything about worrying about the flu. Amen. Amen. Come on. Say so. You should have been busy fortifying. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So you either believe it or you don't. That's right. Don't talk about no flu. Amen. Amen. I said, I said. The same spirit raised Jesus from the dead oh, dwell, right. dwells in me. Amen. 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 And that spirit gives life to my mortal body. Yeah. Amen. Therefore, no sickness, nor disease, no, 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 no virus, no bacteria can, can stand in this body. Amen. Then I remind myself what, what happens at communion. I, I tell myself that Jesus was broken for me, that I might be whole. Therefore, if I'm whole, sickness cannot live in me. I'm talking to me now. I'm talking to me and letting me, reminding me who I am and what I have. I don't talk, we don't, I don't talk about the flu. I fortify my body with the word of God. I marinate in the word. Praise God. Marinate in the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I was talking to my organs. I was talking to my organs. This week, talking to organs, I'm telling to my organs, you will function as God created you to function. I was talking to my arteries, I was talking to my cells this week, I was talking to the molecules, I was talking to everything. Let my liver know, my liver has to function correctly. Yeah. I was telling the cells, any, any, any demonic death cell, I command you to, to operate in my body. I command you to cease to exist. I'm talking, I'm talking to my body, I'm talking to it. I'm fortifying it, talking to it. Try, marinating in the word. Yeah. Marinating in the word. Mm -hmm. Marinating in the word. Because you know what? Now that just seems like talk, but that's power coming out. Amen. That's power coming out. Amen. That's power coming out. Amen. Brought myself to 1 Peter 2.24. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, bring that up on the, on, on the screen. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was reading this most of this week. Yeah. For to fortify my body. Because whatever bug, whatever bug that's coming around. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness. Amen. By his stripes we are healed. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. And I and I tell my body, he said, body, we don't do sickness. We don't, we don't, we don't do sickness because of this. By his stripes I've been completely, totally healed. Amen. I'm healed. Body, you're healed. Lungs, you're healed. Heart, you're healed. Amen. Yeah, Amen. veins, veins, you'll let the blood flow. Arteries, the blood will flow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you got to talk. Don't, don't talk, talk to your organs. Talk to them. 
Because there, you see, you have to because there's a thing in the back of here saying, you don't know what's going on inside your body. Right. Well, I'm talking to them. Amen. I'm telling them to function like God created you to function. Right. Amen. Praise God. And, and don't forget, we have Proverbs. The word is medicine and health to all our flesh. Hallelujah. So when our bodies are marinating, right. we're giving it medicine. Amen. Health to our yes. bones. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're marinating. We're giving medicine yes. to our body. Yes. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like it. I know it doesn't seem like it. But when I'm reading Psalms 23.1, I'm, I'm giving medicine to my body. And so, so, so if you start to feel something, you say, no, no. You tell your body, no, no. I've been giving you medicine. I've been giving you medicine. Amen. I've been giving you medicine. Yes. I've been giving you medicine. Yes. And you tell you, and you demand your body to, 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 <clears throat> to operate as the word tells it to operate. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay. Let's go to. Uh, do we have the message translation up there? No. Okay. Just put up James 125. I'm going to. I'm going to put it in the message. Okay. So, but whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed. So whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein. Yeah. That's my name. Got to continue. Yeah. So it says in, in message, it says, Jesus was matter of fact, you know, embrace, the, embrace this God life. Really embrace it. And nothing will be too much for you. Okay? Now this is, I'm sorry, hold on. I got the wrong one. I was reading Mark 11. Hold it. Hold it. Let me go to James. One twenty-five. But whosoever... Clutch, catches a glimpse of the revealed counsel of God, the free life, even out of the corner of his eye and sticks with it, is no distracted scatterbrain, but a man or woman of action. That person will find delight and affirmation in the action. So you don't get distracted. How do you get distracted? By hearing everything. See, what happens is also, too, when you marinate in the word, when you marinate in the word, mm -hmm. it, will, it will keep distractions away. Amen. It will keep distractions away when you marinate in the word. So this week, what I want you to do, I want you to pay attention what you've been saying. All right, today's Thursday. So t from Sunday, pay attention to what you're saying. Yes. All right, so this is what I mean. How much life are you speaking about you and your family? Because let's think about it. If you're not speaking certain things, you're leaving it to chance. What are you saying about you? What are you saying about your family? It's very easy not to say things. It's very easy not to stay on. You have to, on purpose, stay on the things of God. You have to, on purpose, stay on it. Because, because what will happen, you'll just stop saying it. You... It, it won't be, it's not because you did something wrong. You just stop. You let life happen. But you got to on purpose tell yourself, no, we're working on something. We're working on something. And you stay on it. And, and you don't relent. Do you know that the word never fails? 
It never fails. So it's a matter, if something has not come to pass in your life, it's because of you. Don't be looking at God. It's because of you. When it's all said and done, you, if you're not, you got to be honest with yourself. It's because of you. And sometimes you have to get more knowledge in the area. And sometimes you just got to ask God, like, God, there's something, I'm, I'm missing something. I'm, 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 can, you, can you reveal something to me? And, then, and you can ask God for wisdom, too. Amen. He said, ask him. Right, 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 right. He said, ask yes, him. Yes, but if something didn't come to pass in your life, it's you. Amen. Nope, it's not God, it's you. Amen. Where you're walking in this life is up to you. Amen. Where you're walking in this is up to me. And it's up to you. Tomorrow morning, what I say is up to me. Because you're not going to be there. Right? I'm not going to be at your house. But what you say tomorrow morning is up to you. What you say on Saturday is up to you. On Sunday, we all do. We all do. Yeah, you know, we all do it. On, on, on Sunday, we all do it. We, we all do it. But Sunday's really is just, it, a Sunday is just really, is kind of like a reconnect to keep you going. From you to, for you to get some instructions for you to live for the week. But tomorrow is where it's at. What are you going to say tomorrow morning? And then what are you going to say when you forgot about this message? However, you can tell yourself, don't forget about this message and don't let the devil take it away from you. To re the Holy Spirit will remind you this of this. You know, because you, you, you could be driving along and be like, you, know, you haven't said much lately. That's the Holy Spirit. Just reminding you. Because you be, you're, you're staying in tune. See, if you stay in tune, the Holy Spirit will remind you of these things. Yeah, he'll remind you. Because life can just happen. But the Holy Spirit, he's there for you. He's your comforter. He teaches you all things. Amen? Amen. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you.